and uh, welcome back to my channel today we're going to be reviewing the racer star 35 amp tattoo esc so this is a bl heli 32 esc um it could run d shot 1200 1200 out of the box it should um i have not connected to bl heli 32 just yet but i'm just we're just going to do a quick testing and noise testing for now uh later on i'll be making a playlist of uh the just every function of the bl heli 32 ESCs and actually be playing with those configurations and actually seeing uh, how do they affect the motor in noise and even in thrust and efficiency. So that'll be a very interesting tutorial. I think I'm going to start that next week. So um, that's for that. Let's just stick to this guy. So this is a 35 amp ESC and its uh, peak current is 43 amp. I don't know for how long. It doesn't really mention. So let's rip this off. The one thing that really kind of upset me when I got this, I was really hoping to see a current sensor in here, but there's actually no current sensor. So it's just, uh, actually how many capacitors are okay. So it's how many capacitors? One, two, three, four, five. We got five capacitors. We got one tantalum capacitor. So this should reduce the high frequency noise. And um, it looks good. It could run a two to five S LiPo and that's really it so all we're gonna do now actually just gonna stick it on the bench and actually take it for a test and see how this baby performs so let me just check these so that's good these are I think these are silicone actually maybe yeah I think these are silicone wires but not a very good quality silicone wires but they're silicone wires so that, that's a big plus here so let's take it on the bench and let's get started All right, guys. So, how did the Racer Star tattoo do? Well, it was noisy. It did have noise. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not good either. It's in the middle. Um, however, being a BL Heli 32 ESC and all that kind of good stuff, it was a very big letdown to see there was no shunt resistor for uh, the current reading. Um, that really just um, really upset me really disappointed me on this one uh so there was noise uh it was, it's, it's kind of noisy um with the emacs motor if you pair this up you might have some problems um maybe a smoother motor you'll be totally fine now for voltage drops it was in the right in the beginning of the danger zone so you can expect possible vtx blackouts with this guy um the voltage spike you're totally fine it was 24 volts so that's good uh, that's within the safe zone safe zone is the top of the safe zone 27 volts so th that's very good 24 volts but the voltage drops is the scary part on this guy um overall quality i mean it seems good uh this this should have been bigger um capacitors here should have been bigger um then it would have probably done very well but uh other than that i mean you're getting what you paid for so uh it is bl heli 32 i have not connected it so i can't really say for sure if i've seen it connect or not um, but I will be doing that later on. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So this is the noise testing of the Racer Star Tattoo. And I hope I helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to let me know. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.